Hello guys and welcome to my little tutorial on how to install the random recipe data pack for 1.14.4 vanilla minecraft to quickly show what's going on here I'll craft a diamond pickaxe and as you can see it doesn't give us a diamond pickaxe it instead gives us a stone button as well when I try to make a chest plate stained glass pane that's not what we are used to as well when I quickly check out the furnace I'm smelting iron here but I'm getting quartz slabs so also the entire smelting system is entirely random so not only the crafting also the smelting system as well as the cooking on a campfire so I've just put on some raw chicken and instead of cooked chicken, we'll get something completely different. It seems to be crossbows out of a cooked chicken. Isn't that cool? So let's see how to install it. So in order to install it, you need two different files. The first one is the recipe scrambler. When you click on that link, it should take you to this page. Where you can simply click on the download right here. And then choose the zip file and then you should see download pop up right down here that should give you that file in order to extract it you obviously need winrar so when you have that file you extract to recipe scrambler right here and that should give you the recipe scrambler master file and go in here then you have the scrambler.py file in order to open that file it's a python file you have to install Python. I've left a, li a download link in the description right here. That should take you to this page. You can simply download and install it from here. Shouldn't be too difficult for different versions as well. And then you're good to go. When you've installed that, you should see this sort of symbol right here for this file to pop up. And else you can just go right here, open with right here. But do that later. You can open with Python. If it doesn't show that symbol right there okay so if you have that extracted you should be good to go the second thing you need is the data.rar file that's where all the minecraft default recipes are in you need that i've provided a download link for that as well in the description that should take you to the um, google drive file here in order to download that you need a, a google account but that shouldn't be a, a huge problem so you right click on that file and then you can download it right here when you've downloaded it you should get this file just uh, extract it uh, to data and so yeah in this folder we can see all the recipes that are in the game in order for that recipe scramble to work you need that obviously now the important uh, part comes in now you have to open up minecraft so that you get in this menu minecraft 1.14.4 then you'll simply create a new world um we'll do it on survival allow cheats whatever it doesn't really matter you can choose whatever you want and we'll create a new world we'll quickly wait for it to load so when the world is loaded so just go out so that the files have been created we, we click on on this world and go to edit open the world folder and that should bring up the location where this world is saved obviously and then you should see the data packs folder that's where the data pack is gonna be in. we have this data folder and the MC recipe scrambler master we open this up this scrambler master and in order for that to work we need we need to create a file called crafting files everything low caps with the underscore just how I did it right here. And then, and then you need to copy in every single recipe from the game. And that's where I have created the data folder. So you cl double click on the data folder, double click again, go to recipes, press Control A to select everything in here, Control C to copy it, then go back to the uh, recipe scrambler master where you have created crafting underscore file files folder then you go in and control V now you're gonna paste in every single recipe 
that's currently in the game version 1.14.4 and now you're pretty much set to execute this file and then you can execute then it should count percent up when it looks like this then it works when it, and now the data pack got created we'll put that in to the saves folder we've both opened up then we can go back into minecraft and save right here it should take a little bit for it to finish which is a good sign we get into the world and everything should be randomized we we'll quickly break wood <laughs> with the there we go, we got it. And now, we put it in here, we get a banner pattern. But there's one more thing you can do. Quickly save the title, and there's a so-called blacklist. So, there's this so-called blacklist. When you open it up, you can see crafting underscore table. And so, in here, you can simply blacklist files that shouldn't be randomized. So, that means the crafting table recipe is normal. But the thing is, getting planks is normal. So we could easily say, for the quick understanding, here in this file we have all the normal recipes. So when we go into planks, you can see all the different types of planks that are in the game. Just search for that item you want to be able to craft normally, and then type in everything that's before the Johnson. So in this case, Keisha planks always press enter to get into the next row so now i've put in every single plank that's in the game now i can save it Control s or just hit here file save it's the same when i now execute the scramble py it obviously generates completely new one open the folder again go to the data pack so i quickly close minecraft in order to delete this file then i've Put in the new one we've created right here using the new blacklist. Now we're gonna get get back into Minecraft, open up the new world, and now we should be able to get the crafting table normally, and from then on continue scrambled, because that makes it a bit easier but still quite challenging. And so that's pretty cool. You can put in everything you want to this blacklist in order to make it a bit easier. And now for me, it's a bit laggy right here. See. The planks are normal and the crafting table is normal as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions on how to install it, leave them down in the comments section below. I'll see you guys next time.